Lahadiach, don't persuade a city to follow Avadizara. Vishem Elohim Acherim Lo Saskiru, Lo Yishama Al Picha. This mitzvah means that two or more Jews must not persuade the majority of a town to follow an Avadizara. That town would be called an Ir Hanidachas. Both of those Jews must come from this town, and both must also be from the same Shevet, the same tribe. This type of Jew is called a Madiach, a persuader. Only a Bezin of 71 judges can decide if the town is an Ir Hanidachas. The penalty for these two or more Jews is Skila, because Hashem is very strict about anything that has to do with Avodah Zara. However, they only get skill if they actually succeed and persuaded the majority of the town to follow the Avodah Zara. And the people of the town who served the Avodah Zara get saif, death penalty by sword, and the whole town is then burned down to ashes. This is a loisase for men and ladies. Lisroif, burn an iranidochas, a city which served Avodah Zara. It is a mitzvah to burn all the property of an Irani Dochas. All its property is brought to the main street and burned. Even the property of Tzadikim who lived there is also burned because they lived in such a terrible place. All the animals of the town are killed. Only a Bezin of 71 can decide if a town is an Irani Dochas. Whoever helped burn the town is blessed by Hashem and is considered as though he brought a carbon for Hashem. Three cities are not allowed to be burned. One, Yerushalayim. Two, Are Miklat, were cities of safety. Three, border towns. And this mitzvah is an assay for men and ladies. Live nice. Do not rebuild an Ir Hanidachas, a city which served Avodah Loi Sibone Oid. We are not allowed to rebuild an Irnidachas, a town where most of its people served Avodah Zara. It may be made into parkland, orchards, or gardens, but never rebuilt as a city. This shows us how terrible the Aver of Avodah Zara is, and that Hashem wants us to know that this place can never again be rebuilt. And if someone does rebuild such a city, the penalty is Malchus. And this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Lehonois. Do not have any benefit from an ir hanidochas. This mitzvah means that we are not allowed to benefit from the property of an ir hanidochas, a city that was burned because most of its people served avodizara. Anything left over after it was burnt may not be used, even its ashes. If an animal from an ir hanidochas was shechted. You may not eat its meat or use its skin or any other part of this animal. All the belongings of all the people in the city are piled in the middle of the town square or in the main street and burned. Any fruits or vegetables still growing on trees in the city are to be burned and not eaten. You're not allowed to take anything from its remains. And the penalty for using anything from this city is Malchus. And this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Loisis. Don't be a Mesis, a missionary. A missionary is a person who tries to persuade a Jew to serve Avodah Zara. Such a person is called a Mesis. The Torah is very strict about this person because he tried to persuade a Jew to serve Avodah Zara. And the Torah commands us to hate this Mesis. And the Torah commands me not to love him or defend him in a Beisden. He is such a Russia that the Torah tells me not to stop hating him. The penalty for a mesis is skila, and this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Le'ahoiv, don't be a mesis. Loi soi ve'aloi. This mitzvah means that we're not allowed to love a mesis, a missionary. Hashem wants us to love his creation, including other people who are different from us. But there are some people that Hashem Himself commands us not to love and even to hate. One such terrible person is a Mesis, someone who tries to persuade others from being Jewish and keeping Hashem's beautiful mitzvahs. Hashem tells us that we actually have a mitzvah not to love a missionary and even another mitzvah not to stop hating him. 
Hashem is so angry at a missionary that Hashem commands us not to save him if he is drowning or if his life is in danger. This is an unusual mitzvah which you get by not loving this Russia. And this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Lisnoi, don't stop hating a mesis. Loisishma elov. This mitzvah means we're not allowed to stop hating a mesis, a missionary. Hashem wants us to love all of his creation, including other people who are different from us. But there are some people that Hashem himself commands us not to love and even to hate. One such terrible person is someone who tries to persuade others from being Jewish and keeping Hashem's beautiful mitzvahs. Hashem tells us that we actually have a mitzvah to not love a missionary, and even another mitzvah to not stop hating him. Part of hating him is that if he tries to speak to you, don't listen. Close your ears with your fingers and walk away, because when you refuse to listen to someone and walk away from him, you are showing him that you hate that person. This mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Lahatzil, don't save a mesis, a missionary. Loisocha is encha olav. This mitzvah means that we're not allowed to save the life of a mesis if his life is in danger. If he's drowning or fell into a pit, you're not allowed to throw him a rope or a ladder to save his life. Actually, if he's drowning and there's a rope already in the water, you're allowed to say, oh good, a rope, that's just what I need, and then take it and walk away. And if you fell into a pit and there's a ladder, you're allowed to say, oh good, a ladder, just what I need, and take the ladder and walk away. You have a mitzvah not to save his life because he doesn't deserve to live. The Torah is so strict about Amasis who has tried to stop Jews from doing Hashem's beautiful mitzvahs that Hashem commands us not to save his life. If you see a Jew's life in danger, it's a gigantic mitzvah to save him. But if you see Amasis in danger, it's really a gigantic mitzvah not to save him. This mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Zuchus, don't defend a mesis. Loi sachmoil. This mitzvah means a Jew is not allowed to argue in favor of a mesis, a missionary. This Russia caused Jews to leave Hashem and serve Avodizora. A mesis is such a Russia, Hashem gave six mitzvahs, all about hating him and not saving his life. You are not allowed to feel bad for him when Bezin judges him. You're not allowed to tell Bezin anything in his favor that would be his chus to the Mesis. If you have any information to tell the Bezin that would help the Mesis get the death penalty, you must say it. If you know any information that will save this Mesis from death, you're not allowed to give that information to Bezin. This mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Choyva. Don't stop giving evidence against a mesis in Beisden. Loi sechase olav. This mitzvah means that a Jew must give any information to help Beisden find the mesis guilty. If a Jew knows information that will make the mesis guilty, he is not allowed to be silent. Saying Lashon Hara is one of the worst averis, but in this case, it is a gigantic mitzvah to tell the truth about this wicked man's behavior to Beisden. This mitzvah is done with your mouth, and this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Lehisnabe. Don't say nevua in the name of Avodizora. Ach hanovi ashiyazid ledaber dover bishmi. This mitzvah means someone lies saying he is a novi and his Avodizora told him to give us a message. He lies and says we should serve Avodizora. Or he lies and says Hashem told him to tell us to serve Avodizora. Even if he does a miracle, don't believe him. Even if he promises you will be rich if you listen to him, don't believe him. Hashem is very strict about this Avera. And this Novi Sheker is put to death with Chenek, strangulation. This mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Lishmaya. Don't listen to a Novi Sheker, a false prophet. Loisishma el divrei hanovi hahu. It is a mitzvah not to listen to someone who gives a nevua in the name of an Avodah He lies and says his Avodah gave us a message to serve it. 
He might say he heard this from a real Navi, still don't believe him. We should not even enter a discussion with such a person. We're not even allowed to ask him to show us a sign or a miracle. And even if he does a miracle, it is a mitzvah to ignore him and the miracle that he does. Because if he does a miracle, we can be sure he is using black magic, and Hashem is the one who gives him this power to test our loyalty to Hashem. His penalty is death with chenek, strangulation. And this mitzvah is a loisase for men and ladies. Sheker. Don't be a novi sheker. Ba'ashe yedaber b'shem lehim acherim. Don't say nevuah in Hashem's name if you're not a real novi. A novi sheker is someone who says words Hashem did not tell him to say. He's a liar. How do you know if he's a novi sheker? If he says Hashem told him to tell us a new mitzvah must be added, or if he says that Hashem told him to cancel one of the 613 mitzvahs, or if he says what will happen in the future and it does not become true, that is because Hashem never really told him. A Novi Sheker used to persuade Jews to follow Avodah Zorah by pretending Hashem spoke to him to tell everyone to serve Hashem in this new way. But really, it wasn't Avodah Zorah. A Novi Sheker is killed with chenik, strangulation, and this is a loisase for men and ladies. Laharoik. Don't be afraid to kill a Novi Sheker. Loisogur mimenu. Don't be afraid to tell Basin information that will help find a Novi Sheker guilty and then cause him to be killed. We are only allowed to fear Hashem and no one else. This Novi Sheker tried to persuade Jews to follow the Avodah Zorah, and that's enough of a reason for him to deserve the death penalty. A Basin of 71 judges has to decide that he's guilty. And Bezim must not be afraid to kill him if he is found guilty. And his penalty is chenek, strangulation. And this is a loisase for men and ladies. Lehi shava. Don't swear in the name of an avoyde zara. V'shem elohim acherim loisaskiru. We are not allowed to say, I swear in the name of an avoyde zara. We are not even allowed to ask a non-Jew to swear in the name of his avoyde zara. If a Jew does business with a non-Jew, he has to be extra careful not to swear in the name of an Avodah Zorah. And this Haver is extremely serious because it pretends the Avodah Zorah is important. And Hashem wants us to be so far from an Avodah Zorah and that we should not even ask someone to wait for us in a building that is next to an Avodah Zorah. The penalty for swearing in the name of an Avodah Zorah is Malkus. This Haver is done by mouth and this is a Loistase for men and ladies.